Hi, this is Brad Linder with Lilliputing, and this is the Transmart T1000 Mirror 2 TV, which is a small device about the size of a Google Chromecast. You can plug it into an HDMI port, hook up USB power, and uh, use it to stream video or uh, content from something like a tablet to something like a larger monitor or TV. It uh, also supports Miracast, so basically you can treat your TV as a secondary display or you can treat it as uh, something just for streaming video from a phone or something along those lines using the EasyCast software. So uh, I'm going to put this down here on the tablet, plug in the power supply, and watch it come to life. Now as it boots, let's take a quick look here. The included power supply actually has a Wi-Fi adapter. So you need to make sure you're using the included power supply, otherwise it will not come up online. Um, it's starting to boot. There we go, we've got a SSID and a password. And now we can come over to our tablet, run the EasyCast software, And when we switch over to Easy Mirror, as long as it's paired with the device, it should switch to this view, which says Easy Mirror. And now, let's go ahead and turn Easy Mirror on. Now it says it's connected to an internet AP and tells us that it wants us to connect our local device. So let's come in here, go to Settings, PC Settings, PC and Devices, display, connect to a wireless display, and we should see the Transmart up here. As we do that, it's now going to say, it's going to try a P2P connection, and if that doesn't work, it's going to try a different connection. Now this is the tricky part. I've gone through this any number of times and had difficulty getting it to actually pair properly. So right now we're getting a message saying could not connect. So let's see what's what we can do about that. Let's go to devices. Let's remove this device and try it again. Display, connect to a wireless display, add wireless display, and now it's going to search for devices. And up here you can see it's saying, do RTSP connection. And down here it's saying, no device is found. So let's try that again. Add a device. Now it found it. Now it says it's connecting. We'll see if it really is. There we go. So now it's asking for a pin. And if all goes according to plan, It'll connect and mirror the display. Sometimes things don't always go to plan. Let's try this again, add advice. Now I have managed to get this to work a couple of times and it lets you mirror your display on the external screen, it lets you extend your desktop so that it's like you have multiple uh, monitors, but it does not always work, which can be a little bit tricky. So of course it worked right before I did this video, but then I rebooted the tablet, I rebooted the system so that I could show you from scratch and it doesn't want to work. Let's try going to here again, connect wireless display.
So the long and short of it is, while it can work, and it sometimes does work, and when it does work, it works quite nicely, as I think we're about to see, it can uh, take a couple of minutes to set up and use. So at this point, you can see that we are mirroring our display. We've got dual desktops. We can go in here and adjust settings. Instead of duplicating the displays, we can say we want to extend the desktop. That lets us do things like this. It's a little tricky with the touch screen. Uh, but if you plug in a mouse and keyboard, you could actually control what's going on on the larger monitor. Let's go back to just mirroring the displays. Although for some reason it doesn't seem to have wanted to take that. There we go. And let's try Let's do something with a little bit more action here. So you can see that video does play back pretty smoothly. There's a slight bit of lag I've noticed between when you do something on the tablet screen and when it shows up on the larger screen, which can make using a mouse and keyboard a little tricky, but for the most part it's like plugging in something with a VGA or a HDMI cable. So there you go, you have a wireless way to connect an external device, external display, using the Transmart T1000 and the Dell Venue 8 Pro. And that comes in handy on a small tablet like the 8-inch Dell Venue 8 Pro because it has a, a single port, basically. It's got a little micro USB port, and that's what you use to charge it, that's what you use if you wanted to plug in a mouse, a keyboard, um, or a display link adapter if you wanted to, uh, to try to connect an external display using display link. There's no HDMI, there's no VGA, so a uh, wireless display is pretty much the way to go unless you had a display link adapter or some sort of um, uh, docking station, which uh, Dell doesn't currently offer, but other companies do. So that's a quick look at how to set up and use the wireless display. Uh, it's a little bit of a pain, but when it works, it works pretty nicely. This is Brad Linder with Lilliputing.